Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter number two, and we're going to look at the first five verses. The Bible says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. <clears throat> if I was alive during this time and I was a Jew and, you know, I, I was forced to pay this tax, looking around and, and seeing, you know, this foreign uh, people rule over my people, you know, the Romans ha uh, at this time had complete uh, domination of Judea. They had complete control of the entire region. And anybody who wanted any kind of um, authority or privilege within Judea all had to go through Rome. And <clears throat> here, Joseph, who was a spouse to be married to Mary, was uh, not a very wealthy guy. He was you know, he was quite impoverished and, uh, you know, we'll, we see that later on when it was time to make the sacrifice after Jesus was born. And, um, the only thing they had to offer was two turtle doves and, uh, instead of a lamb, uh, you know, and, <clears throat> uh, anyway, they didn't have much and yet they still had to be taxed. Not only did they have to be taxed, but they had to travel from his hometown in Galilee, in uh, the city of Nazareth, all the way to Bethlehem. That is about a 70-mile journey. And they didn't have cars back then. So that was on foot with a pregnant wife. If I was Joseph, I would, I would be pretty upset at Rome. And at Caesar Augustus for this ridiculous tax. You know, I, it's like, man, I, I don't even have that much to give in the first place. And what little I have, you're going to take it from me. And not only are you going to take it from me, but I have to travel for days just to pay you. And then travel days back just to get home. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty infuriating if you think about it, right? <clears throat> that Caesar Augustus forced all of these people in Judea, all of these Jews to shuffle around just so they could pay him and his government. But you know what? It was important that this happened. It was important that this happened because Jesus had to be born in Bethlehem. That was the prophecy. And at this time, even though <clears throat> the lineage of Joseph is from Bethlehem. He was of the lineage of David. Um, for you know whatever reason, whatever circumstances, he was he ended up in Nazareth, uh, <clears throat> and that's actually where Jesus ended up uh, growing up as well and, and being from. But nevertheless, the prophecies state that the Messiah had to be born in Bethlehem, and so these events had to occur. Uh, in order for Jesus to fulfill the prophecy and to be born where he's supposed to be born, in Bethlehem. All that to say that sometimes things will happen in our lives that are the equivalent of Caesar Augustus forcing you to walk on foot 70 miles away to pay a tax to his government and then walk 70 miles back Sometimes things happen that are irritating, that are infuriating, sometimes even scary. But remember that 
as followers of God, everything is according to his plan and his timing. And we must trust the Lord. Trust his plan. Trust his planning, uh, his timing, even when we don't understand. Because I'm sure Joseph, you know, was irritated by this tax and didn't understand why this was happening. And But now in hindsight, now that he's in heaven for this long, he gets, you know, looking back, he clearly understands. He, in fact, he understands the importance of the tax, why it had to happen. So don't ever discount God and the things that happen in your life. You know, again, God's timing is not always necessarily the timing that we want, but it will always be the better choice. It is always the better choice to follow God and let his will be done. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.